Hey, what's up YouTubers? My name is Chris H. This is Tech You Should Buy. Now, most of my videos feature one product, one review. This video is actually going to be a little bit different. Not only am I sitting down, but we're actually going to take a look at two products in this video. And both products happen to be on my wrist. We have the Galaxy Gear S2 and the Huawei watch. Now, don't get me wrong, both watches are really good, but there is one watch that I believe is a little bit better than the other. Let's find out which one it is. Looks-wise, both watches offer a similar form factor. Uh, both watches feature circular displays with the Huawei watch measuring 1.4 inches with a PPI of 286, while the Galaxy Gear S2 is 1.2 inches with a PPI of 302. Both watches are around the same thickness, however the S2 is a little bit thicker, measuring it at 11.4 millimeters and the Huawei watch being 11.3 millimeters. In regards to the screen, both of them look really good. However, in direct sunlight, I will say that the Galaxy Gear S2 does have the upper hand. Uh, it's just easier to see in direct sunlight, and even with the brightness turned up on both watches, the edge definitely goes to the Galaxy Gear S2. Now, with smartwatches, when you're talking about its looks, you also have to talk about its bands. The Huawei watch supports any 18mm band, which you can buy from a jewelry store, Amazon, it's a pretty standard size. Google just recently announced interchangeable watch bands called Mode, which supposedly makes the experience even easier, allowing to swap the bands with just a click of a button. It's kind of cool. Now, the Galaxy Gear S2 also features interchangeable bands. However, they're not quite as universal as the Huawei watch. Bands can be purchased online through retailers like Amazon and Casemate, but because they don't use a standard pin, they're not going to work with standard straps. At the end of the day, it's probably not that big of a deal to be able to switch watch bands, although some people might like to do it. The upper hand definitely goes to the Huawei watch though because just having that ability to customize your watch makes it stand out a little bit more. When it comes to navigation, both watches offer a unique way of going about it. I really like how Samsung implemented the navigation with the S2. It gives you the option of either using the touchscreen or the dial, the circular dial, around the touchscreen. I will say using the little dial definitely makes it easier to navigate or to go through, you know, settings or applications, widgets, notifications, things like that. Both operating systems offer smooth experiences, the smoother the two actually going to Samsung. Swiping to the left reveals your notifications, swiping to your right brings you widgets, and swiping down gives you quick toggles, and touching the watch face and holding it down gives you options to switch the watch, watch faces out and customize it. With Android Wear, swiping up and down give you your Google Now cards. Swiping to the right takes you to your applications, your contacts, and your Google Now uh, speech thingy. I don't even know what they're calling it, to be honest. But it does give you the ability to speak out uh, a name, to call it, or send a text message, or to ask it a question if you don't want to use the normal OK Google. Now, occasionally Android Wear does stutter but it's not enough to inhibit the experience, and I would say overall, at least on the watches that I've used Android Wear on, both the Huawei watch and the Moto 360 second generation, it's a pretty smooth experience with a few hiccups here and there. One of my biggest gripes with Android Wear, though, are its notifications. Now, it'll cover up about 10% of the screen and at times can partially or fully block something that's on the watch face. I will say, seeing Android Wear 2.0 at Google I.O. looks very refreshing and it seems like it cleans up a lot of the user interface inconsistencies and I'm really looking forward to that. Both watches will get you all day battery life and at the end of most days, I was able to get around 40 to 50% left on a single charge. Now, the nice thing about the Galaxy Gear S2 is that it features true wireless charging, meaning that it comes with an actual wireless charging dock which you can easily take off and put on to charge your watch. Huawei uses a magnetic dock with four prongs in order to charge the watch. Now it works okay, however, on occasion, I think at least two uh, occasions actually, when I thought that I put my watch on the dock to charge it, I guess the prongs weren't meeting the charging prongs on the watch and it wasn't charging it. So when I woke up the next day, my uh, watch was pretty much dead. So that is kind of annoying. I kind of wish Huawei included wireless charging on it, but it didn't, so oh well. Now, the reason why I bought smartwatches, both currently and in the past, is mostly for notification and for fitness purposes. Now, with notifications, just being able to answer texts quickly from my watch was a huge selling point. 
Now even though they are both not perfect in my opinion, Google Now is better than S Voice. For fitness, both watches work well, tracking steps, calories burned, and monitoring workouts. The slight edge does go to the Galaxy Gear S2 and its heart rate monitor because it seemingly works a little bit better and to be honest, it tracks the heartbeat a little bit faster. Now at the end of the day, both watches are high-end devices that offer a very similar experience but go about it in a different way. My personal preference is the Huawei watch because in my opinion, it looks a little bit nicer. It has better voice to text capabilities through Google Now and I do like the fact that I can swap out my watch bands. Add in the fact that the Huawei watch has a speaker unlike the Moto 360, which in my opinion makes the Huawei watch the more superior Android Wear watch. Now please let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe you're an S2 supporter and you think I'm wrong and you want to give me hell for it, or maybe you own a Huawei watch and you think I'm completely right. Anyway, the comment section down there is to engage in conversation, so let me know what you guys think. And my name is Chris H, this is Techie Shabai. Please like, please subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video.